when I was 12 years old, I got this guitar from my aunt, and I learned how to taught myself how to play it. And uh, I formed a band called the Combo Twilighters. And we, were, we were all 12, 12 years old, and uh, I can't, I can remember it was like a, it was like a acoustic guitar. Nobody had an electric guitar back in those days, but this, this was an acoustic guitar. And when we played for the show, the big show at the end of the year, the culture show at the school, there was a microphone and I put the microphone down and I played into the microphone. I could hear the guitar in the whole and coming out of speakers in the whole hall. And like, it was like the biggest thing of, of my life. I was like, I played played uh, Dwayne Eddy's Rebel Rouser. I was 18, uh, and it was legal to drink at, at, in New York at 18. And I don't know what happened, but somehow I slammed on the brakes in the in the van, just swerved out to the other lane. I'm coming lane, and I hit the hit hit head on. Got thrown out the windshield, and then the, the car behind him ran over me. And my two, there I had two friends with me, and one of the guys didn't make it. And uh, I went, I was in a hospital for three months. I was in a coma for three weeks. I got out of the hospital, and I just started smoking. You know, grass, marijuana, hash. And we started also doing acid, mescaline, a lot of speed. And, uh, totally wrecked everything. Kids, that's all we wanted to do. We had cars, we had lots of wooded areas and spaces to park. And I had a really good place to park. I used to bring a lot of girls there. Then I had this girlfriend, she was like, so beautiful, I mean, and she really liked me. I don't know why she liked me. She just really liked me. If I didn't f figure out that she was cheating on me, or if I stayed in town and I didn't come to Boston to go to school at Berkeley College of Music in 72, I probably would have probably ended up marrying her. So, but then I came to college in 72 and from 76, graduated Berkeley College of Music for arranging and composition. And I studied guitar there, classical guitar, jazz guitar. Love is, uh, I have to study up on that. I, I know a little, little bit about it, but I just, I think, I think that, what I think is that girls really have it. Uh, around the entire world, they're not as paid as much as men. Some countries they're not allowed to go to school. Some countries they can't, can't even, they have to cover themselves all up. And some countries they're like, uh, some countries they're exploited. The young girls are exploited for sex and stuff like that, and porn. And I mean, girls really got it tough. It's Without hope, the doubt and the fears will bombard you. So hope is big. Hope is big. Please appreciate what you have, the people you know, the power and passion of youth is so critical. Youth act without calculation. Very pure actions. Look at the Congress, all you guys running around fighting with each other. And I believe, I firmly believe that the future is in your hands and it's in good hands because the world is waiting for you, believe me. Women and girls, we have to protect them and fight for their rights throughout the world, in the Middle East, all over the place. Let's do it together. And if I can help in some small way, I will.